shame. Meg shocked as Brits mocked Sussexes through postbox toppers decorating for coronation. Although Meghan did not return to England to attend the coronation ceremony, the British still did not miss the opportunity to mock the traitors. It is now known that they are mooning the streets for the coronation ceremony as well as expressing a view that is not welcoming the Sussexes. Meghan Markle has been mocked by Brits just days before the coronation. Arts and crafts enthusiasts have spent hours creating unique postbox toppers ahead of the coronation. The craze of decorating the red mailboxes has boomed in the last couple of years with knitted works often inspired by a theme, season, or event. To celebrate the historic moment in British history, hundreds of postboxes have been decorated with many having a royal theme. One topper that has caught the eye of onlookers was in Thurnborough, Buckinghamshire. It's decorated with crocheted King Charles and Camilla figures. There is a cute woolly corgi and King Charles royal emblem also in the decoration. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are also depicted. Harry, with a vibrant ginger beard, is seen setting down on the left side of the postbox top. The royalist crocheted character can be seen peering downwards towards the ground. Lower down, a crocheted Meghan Markle is clinging onto the postbox. The design has been praised online for hilariously mocking the Sussexes with comments such as Love this one with Harry and Meghan off to the side, brilliant British humor, work of art, and so funny too. Last month, it was announced that the Duke of Sussex would attend the coronation without his wife Meghan Markle. Buckingham Palace confirmed that in a statement. The impact that the relationship between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle has had in Great Britain, and in particular the hatred that most of the English tabloids have had towards them, has reached Parliament. A Labour MP, Chris Bryant, commented that newspapers have taken advantage of the controversy and focused on the royal couple to increase their readership and advertising revenue, thus monetizing the hatred that exists in various parts of the internet towards the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Bryant claimed the newspapers have filed their websites with hateful material about Meghan Markle. It's becoming their richest clickbait scene. It drives readership and it generates advertising revenue. He made the comments during the speech delivered by actor Hugh Grant at the annual Levinson Lecture, held by press reform group Hacked Off. The money that lets journalists criticize them is sought by journalists. Brian went even further, asserting that criticizing the Duke and Duchess of Sussex leaves so much money that that's why so many British people opinion writers write so much nonsense about the couple. Not because the story matters, it doesn't. Not because the writers really care, they don't but because it makes money. That's not journalism, it's a perversion of journalism, and it means, once again, that the press sees people's lives as a commodity to be traded. He added that one of the main reasons for this hatred in media coverage is the algorithms of social networks and the type of content that they would promote. Algorithms push people to political extremes, encourage division, and pervert the truth by creating an incentive for falsehood. To the innocent viewer, it looks like everyone hates Harry and Meghan, but this is not normal. Spontaneous or altruistic hatred, it is coordinated and deliberate. It uses social media recommendation systems to amplify the hate. Like clickbait, it uses hate to entice people to follow a link to an article on another client's website where money can be made. This is how it knowingly monetizes hate.